Hello and welcome to this video everyone. Another in the Fight Night series brought to you by James from MySmarterHome.com. My Fight Night series of videos contain comparisons of popular smart devices and to make it more light-hearted and interesting I use a boxing match format. The two devices that are in the ring today are the EcoB3 and the Sensi UP500W. Both of these are smart thermostats. For this comparison, I collect as many details and specifications as I can about each product, and then I break the details down into different sections, and these make my boxing rounds. Today's fight contains eight rounds. Now, after each round, I will tell you who, in my opinion, has won, and at the end of the comparison, I will declare an overall winner. So let's get the contestants into the ring, so to speak. We've got the Eco B3 on the left, and the Sensi UP500W on the right. Now, I don't want to tell you which of these smart thermostats looks nicer or more stylish because I think that that is something which is completely down to personal taste and as I've said my videos concentrate on facts and specifications so let's go into round one basic specifications so let's bring up some details and some features the first one is who makes these thermostats so the EcoB3 is made by a company called EcoB who were set up a few years ago and they just make smart devices. The Sensi is manufactured by a company called Emerson who have been making thermostats for decades. They are a well known a well known brand in thermostat manufacturer and they're very well trusted. So the next feature is when were these products first on sale? So the Eco B3 was first on sale in June 2015, whereas the Sensi was first on sale at the end of 2012. So there's a significant difference in age. The Eco B is a lot younger. In terms of weight, the Sensi is 8.5 ounces, which seems incredibly light to me, whereas the Eco B is 18 ounces. So the Sensi on those facts seems to be a lot, lot lighter. Now, in terms of the size, well, they're a pretty similar size. The Sensi is slightly bigger. It is 5.9 by 0.9 by 3.8 inches, whereas the Eco B is 4 inches by 4 inches by 0.9 inches. And finally, the price. Now, it's important to remember, particularly about the price, that, of course, it's subject to change. But at the moment, the Eco B is available for about $189, whereas the Sensi is on sale for $125. So there's a significant difference in pricing. The, the Eco B is over $60 at the moment, more than the Sensi. So after round one, I think the winner has to be the Sensi because it's much cheaper. All right, let's crack on to round two, which is all about the design and power. Let's bring up a few more icons. So the first one is all about the colors that they're available. Well, the Eco B comes in black and only black and the, and the Sensi comes in white and only white. In terms of materials, they're both made of plastic. In terms of power, there's a slight difference here. Both of them can be powered by the C wire from your 24 volt system. The Eco B also comes with a power extender kit, a PEK, down here, which is another way of powering the device if you don't have a C wire. And for the Sensi, again, it can be powered by a C wire, but it can also be powered by two AA batteries. Let's have a look at the screens. 
the Ecobee has a color screen and it's 3.5 inches in size. The Sensi doesn't come with a, a color screen and it is the size of the screen is 3 inches by 2 inches. Touch screen, the Sensi doesn't have a touch screen. You do all your changes via buttons on the side, whereas the Ecobee does have a touch screen. In terms of the resolution of the screens, well, the Ecobee is 320 by 480 pixels, and the Sensi, I couldn't get any details on the resolution of the screen on that one. So at the end of round two, my win is going to be the Ecobee 3. It's got a coloured screen and it's got a touch screen as well. Round three, smart heating features. So let's get all the thermostats into the ring and let's have a look at what these different features are. So the first feature is all about programming. Both the Ecobee and the Sensi need to be manually programmed. Room sensors. Now this is an up and coming technology, I believe, in smart thermostats. The Ecobee is leading the way with these and so you can use room sensors. By the way, a room sensor is like a white plastic button that you place in different rooms around your house. It then wirelessly connects back to your thermostat, such as the Ecobee, and it then tells that thermostat exactly the temperature in the room that it's in. So as I said, the Ecobee uses room sensors, whereas the Sensi doesn't. Next feature is geofencing. Geofencing is the, the ability of the thermostat to sense whether or not you are at home. And essentially how it does is, is by linking up with your smartphone and then when it detects that you've left the house, what it will do is it will shut down, it will close off any heating or cooling and to help your energy efficiency so that you are not heating or cooling an empty house. So the Ecobee does use geofencing, but the Sensi doesn't use that feature. Remote access is another key feature in smart thermostats at the moment, and we'll be looking at this in far more detail later in terms of the apps that are available. But both the Ecobee and the Sensi have remote access. Now energy savings, the Ecobee says that you can save up to 23% uh, per annum per year in terms of your energy cost by using it, whereas the Sensi believes that you can save up to 30% per year. So that's a bold claim by the Sensi that you can save nearly a third of your costs by using it per year. Now, the next feature here is all about forecasting. So we can see that the Ecobee has, um, it shows a local forecast of what's happening to your weather just outside your front door. And that is weather that you can view on the thermostat itself. And I've put here that it's a five day weather forecast and I haven't got any details of whether or not it's a three day, a five day or a seven day, uh, unfortunately. So, um, but the weather does appear on the thermostat itself. Whereas the Sensi will give you a local weather forecast, but it doesn't appear on the screen of the thermostat. It only appears on the app that you download to control it. So in terms of round three, that is also going to the Ecobee because of the geofencing and the room sensors. Okay, round four, heating systems. Let's get the thermostat up and let's have a look at the features. So what we've got here is we've got gas, electric, oil and dual fuel. By the way, these are all 24 valve, uh, 24 volt systems that I'm talking about here. So gas systems, both thermostats can be used with, with gas systems. Both thermostats can be used with electrical systems. Both thermostats can be used with 24 volt. Um, heating systems that are powered by oil and also both thermostats can be used with dual fuel systems. So after round four I've said that that's a draw because they are exactly the same. 
in terms of their features. Let's have a look at some more heating features. So in terms of if you're connecting it to a conventional system such as a, a furnace, then you would, for the EcoB, you can do two stages of heating and two stages of cooling. And the Sense C is exactly the same, two heating and two cooling with conventional systems. And they are exactly the same as well if you're using a heat pump system. Both the EcoB and the Sensi allow you to connect up to four stages of heating and two stages of cooling. The difference here is in the use of accessories like humidifiers or dehumidifiers. The EcoB can connect and control humidifiers, whereas the Sensi can't. So at the end of round five, again, it's going to be the EcoB 3. The only real difference is in its ability to be compatible with humidifiers and dehumidifiers. Round six, this is remote access. We briefly touched on this earlier. This facility enables you to control your smart thermostat whilst you're not at home. So let's have a look first at the different systems. You've got the iOS software system for your iPads and your iPhone. So in order to um, control your Ecobee, then you're going to be needing iOS 9 or later. For the Sensi, for your iPhone and your iPad, you're going to be needing version iOS 8 or later. Now we go on to the Android system. This is, for instance, for your Galaxy phones or for your Nexus phones or for your Pixel phones. And ignore what I've put here. I think version 6 or later, that's nonsense. What I'm beginning to see at the moment when I check things on the Google Play Store is that it depends on the device. So it depends on what model, what exact model of smartphone you've got and what exact model of um, Android tablet that you've got in terms of what version you're going to need to be running in order to use the EcoB app. Whereas for the Sensi, for your Android, for your Galaxy phones, or for your Pixel phone, or for your Nexus tablet, perhaps, you're going to be, need to be running version 4 of the Android system. Neither the EcoB or the Sensi have any official apps that will run Windows 10, that will run within Windows 10. Both thermostats, though, enable you to be able to control to control them by using your browser or via a browser. So, for instance, up here I've got Firefox, Internet Explorer, or Chrome. You can, of course, use Safari. Now, that is a really great thing, an added kind of function for controlling these thermostats because it means that you're not just stuck to controlling them via your smartphone or your or your tablet it means if you've got a windows 7 or windows 10 computer at home you can access it via the browser there or if you've got your mac your macbook at home you can also control it via your browser in there as well so the end of round six i've actually put that it's going to be the sensi that wins that round although it's very similar both have apps and browser access. The Sensi pips it because you can run an older version of the iOS system. Round seven is home automation. So let's get the thermostats in and let's have a look at the different systems. So the first system for home automation is the Echo system or the Alexa system. And both the EcoB and the Sensi work within the Echo system. But of course, you need an Amazon Echo in order to make that work. The next system here is the IF triple T, the if that, then this, which is a web service. The EcoB has an official channel, um, which has got loads of different things that you can, that you can do with the thermostat whereas the Sensi doesn't have, doesn't have an official channel 
within the IFTT website. So the next one is working with Apple HomeKit. The, the Ecobee does work with Apple HomeKit, whereas the Sensi doesn't work with Apple HomeKit. Another big automation system is the Wink system, and both of these work with the Wink system. And then the last one that I've put here is the Samsung Smart Things, and the Ecobee works within the Samsung Smart Thing system, whereas the Sensi doesn't. So at the end of round seven, my winner is the Ecobee. Sorry, yes, the Ecobee three. It's a clear winner because it's used in far more systems than the Sensi. And our final round is our review and ratings round. So let's get the thermostats up and let's have a look at what some of these features are. So the first one is the overall rating. Another thing to say that these, particularly these specifications that I'm giving you now, are subject to change. So the Ecobee 3, its overall rating is 4.4 out of 5, whereas the Sensi is 4.2 out of 5. So there's not a big difference there but the Ecobee has a better rating. Reviews, well, the Ecobee at the moment is um, about 3,500 reviews have been written, which means that that's about 152 reviews that are being written about it per month. The Sensi has about 3,000, just over 3,100 reviews written. So it's a similar number of reviews written, but because the Sensi has been for sa on sale for a lot longer, there's not nearly as many reviews being written every month. There's only 58 per month. Questions that have been asked and answered. And again, this is interesting because for the Sensi, it's over a thousand questions. Whereas for the Ecobee, it is just over 600. In terms of the next feature is the percentage of ratings, which have actually, or the percentage percentage of ratings which have graded the device as being five stars. So for the Echo B, sorry, the Eco B, <laughs> for the Eco B, 80% of all the ratings rate it as five star, whereas for the Sensi, it's only 68% of all the reviews are rating it as five star. So there's a difference there and the um, Ecob comes out comes out better. And in terms of the ratings, the percentage of one star ratings, and this is where you want a lower rating, the Ecob comes up with five, and the Sensi comes up with nine. So the Ecob ends up winning in that section as well. So round eight, my winner is going to be the Ecob three. I've said here that it's very close, but it's got a better rating, it's got more reviews, but the Sensi does have far more questions which have been answered about it, which is a good indication. Now this is going to my overall winner, and the overall winner is the Ecob 3 and it's a clear winner. It's got more powerful features than the Sensi, and it's rated higher. But the Sensi is a great thermostat if you don't mind the old school looks. And the other great thing about the Sensi is that it is cheaper. So if you have been wondering what, whether to buy the Ecob3 or the Sensi UP500W smart thermostat, I hope this review has really helped you and helped you to make your mind up. Thanks for watching.